Hey, sorry guys, had to uh, tend to the cat. So I'm going to use this Becca uh, Glow Glaze Stick because it doesn't really have a color to it. It is more of that kind of wet highlight and I'm going to use that as a base. Okay, so first I'm going to take my favorite one, Peachella, and where is a highlight brush? I do like to use these. I like using these um, old school foundation brushes to pack the product on. And it is a beautiful highlight. And of course, you're not getting like the full effect of how gorgeous the duochrome is. I got to play with the settings on my camera. I'm sure there's a way that I can show off the awesomeness of the duochrome in this. So I've been thinking about setting up a GoFundMe just to, you know, stay on my feet because I have bills piling up and it's very stressful and scary and as of right now I have a job to go back to um will I ha but will it uh, still be there when the month is over and every and jobs open again and some jobs you know might not be able to open especially in new york city because the rent is so high so i am very nervous about that um and yeah the money situation i never thought i would worry about going hungry and it, it's very humbling going through all of this and um just an fyi i won't be buying um new makeup for a while um we'll just be using the stuff in my collection because um the only new makeup I'm going to be getting is from my Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux because I had I prepaid for that. So that's the only um, makeup that's going to, you know, be coming in for a while. Um, okay, this is Pinkaroo. This is a little darker. This one is a little more sheer. Let me put it on compared to the um, peach one. Really coat my brush up there and see if we can how much we can get this to layer up okay it can layer up it's just a different type of shine compared to the peach one 
It definitely has a duochrome. It's pink with like a purple shift. But it's not as intense as Peachella. So that is Pinkaroo. That's Peachella. I'll use a uh, Lala Belusa as a um as a highlight um and I'm just using um a color a matte color in here as a crease color and maybe t also to um lay the um I topper um on top okay so I guess this I am gonna start with first I'll take this I'll take this chocolate brown color that's called brunettes have fun yeah brunettes have fun is the name of the color very interesting. Tap that off. Well, it is pigmented. And just Okay, it is slightly patchy. But it can be finessed. Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm going to I'm going to take I'm going to take this gray satin color and we're going to Plop that onto the lid. That is a pretty color. And I'm not getting fallout on the eye, which is nice. Okay, now I'm going to take the peach Ella. I'm going to take that. Um... Eye topper. And just put it on the front half of the eye. And just feather it out right here at the center. 
water. Okay. So that's one look using the, this is using the Peachella. And then, you know what, I'm also going to get the lower lash with it. Because why not, I can. <laughs> In the corner, too. Okay. That's what the Peachella color looks like so far. Then I'm going to take the pink one and I'm actually not going to use it as an eye topper. I'm going to use it as a lip topper just on the center. Okay, just gonna tap out the corners a little. Okay, and that is what the pinkaroo looks like as a lip topper. I think it's very pretty. I'll swatch the three of them in a second. Then I'm going to take. I'm going to take this dark gray color and I'm going to put that into the crease. All these brushes and you can never find the one you want when you're looking for brushes. Okay, I think I found the one I want. Okay. And let's just just Go into the corner like that. Okay, there we go. I need something that would make the color just a little more pigmented and stand out. Come 
also to the outer corner. to the outer corner then I'm gonna take the Lala Belusa Lala yeah Lala Belusa color then I'm going to take a brush um, let's see Hmm. Actually, let me do I just wish the blue was a little more bright, but it's not the end of the world. Almost went on a little too thick there, but we fixed it. Okay, that is what the blue looks like. Let me just pat that out a little so it's not patchy looking. Just putting a little of the leftover on my brush so the powder has something to stick to. Let's try this now. Oh, yeah. Much better when it's got something to stick to. See a few 
bits of glitter flying around, but it would be a lot worse if I didn't have a wet base down. And just put a little bit right here. Okay, so this is what the blue eye, the Lala Balooza eye looks like. I wonder if I wonder then if I took some of this pink. Yeah, I could then do a little halo action. Okay, very cool. I like that little pink. And then just... Then let's take that pink powder, put that in the inner corner. Okay, so I am a fan. These uh, you can use for highlighters, for eyeshadow, for lip topper, eye topper. You could use it for anything, and I really like that blush highlighter. It's uh, one, uh, one product with many uses, so I like that. Um, considering the fact that, um, Milani is more high-end, I do like that you can get more uses out of it. Let me swatch the toppers. This is the blue. Lollabalooza, that's the blue one. Then this is... Peacherella. This is my favorite. It reminds me of a MAC um, highlighter that I have. And then the last but not least, where did the pink go? Where did the pink go? Oh, there it is. Again, if you don't like glitter, you are not going to like this. Uh, I'm sure this was done for festival season and Coachella, but since um, it was um, postponed, um, I'm sure that, you know, um, even though it was for that, you could still wear it um it i'm always a big fan of sparkle and glitter i like it i like that it works for different skin tones and you can use it for multiple um uses so i definitely think that it's uh worth picking up um you don't need all the colors maybe just find um one color that you like and um stick with that because most people won't go through um an entire highlighter uh the highlight 
toppers those um, are easier to go through so those maybe if you like them get all three but the highlighters those are seven grams and I've never gone through an entire highlighter so um that you might just want to find that one favorite color and stick with it or you could get all of them and they're great mix and match products and you can use them for so many different things so I definitely like these um if you're interested in them you can get them at um milani.com and at ulta you can buy um, Ulta, I think, in store and online you can buy it. So I definitely like these. Um, thank you guys for watching my video and listening to me um, uh, lament about my problems. If you um, feel like donating, I will leave the... Um, information where to donate my paypal and my venmo and um i was gonna do a video or i was going to in this video talk about like and show scam emails that i've gotten maybe i'll um just put them at the end or um maybe i'll do a separate video on it but, uh, yeah, it would really, really, really help me out um, if you could just donate a few bucks so I could uh, buy food because I am almost out of food and I don't know um, when I'm going to get another paycheck. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for helping me out if you do. And if you do uh, help me out, I will figure a way to um, pay you back or give you um, something back because I don't um, want to uh, just take the money. I want to give you guys something in return if you are so gracious to donate to me. But um, yeah, that's... Uh, all I have to say, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.